Our basketball feast continues tonight as we have the championship game of the Space Coast Challenge in Melbourne, Florida. In game one of his Boilermaker career, Zach Eady was incredible. 19 points on 9 of 10 shooting in a win over Liberty in the semifinals. Clemson fans have their own freshman sensation. P.J. Hall showed he's ready to make an impact for the Tigers right now. Championship game in the Space Coast Challenge next from Melbourne, Florida and Florida's Space Coast. It is time to return to Titan Fieldhouse on the Eastern Florida State College campus in Melbourne, Florida, and the main event of the tournament, the 2020 Space Coast Challenge Championship game between Purdue and Clemson. Welcome back, college bas basketball fans, and of course, happy Thanksgiving. It is time for the second course. We had our leftovers between games. Bob <laughs> Wetzel and I, this is Dave Ryan, and coach the stars of the two teams, and Amir Sims from Clemson, preseason ACC pick, Travion Williams of Purdue, preseason Big Ten pick, did not have their best efforts last night. They were below their norm, of course, and for Sims, the reason was he got in foul trouble. He got two fouls in the first minute. He didn't even play eight minutes total in the entire game. Travion Williams was a different story. I mean, he would double and triple teamed early in this game couldn't get going he did rebound well and he played a majority of the game so he's uh, I, I think sims will be more well rested but in their place right what happened freshmen were incredible that was the headline of night one wasn't it indeed it was and zach Eady was spectacular let's take a look at the seven foot four player the ball is going away from him and when it does he positions and goes backwards for the lob play could have been a dunk but he puts it in nice and easy okay then he picks and he rolls towards the basket positions himself close in and when they play on the high side he's not doubled and he scores easily and this is the one i like the best he's 15 watch him here on the missed free throw look at his arm there are three guys around him he tips the ball to himself and dunks it one of five dunks in the game he was fantastic P.J. Hall was the best player on the floor for Clemson, and he came in as a substitute. This guy moves well without the ball. He understands where the seams are in the defense, and as a result, he's got that nice little soft jumper from 15 feet, which he used a lot in this game. Watch him move here. He's going to be all over the place. First, he goes inside, then he pops up. And then when he sees the double team, he pops all the way out so he's available for the pass. They double and he slides back in because no one's on him. Very intelligent player without the basketball. He's going to be a big, big factor in this game. So, Bob, we talked about it. Are the stars from these two teams, Trevion Williams, the big man for Purdue. And Amir Sims of Clemson going to step up. Sims had foul trouble last night, only had a couple of points. It's Clemson and the Boilermakers in the Space Coast Challenge Championship game here on CBS Sports Network. Lineups and tip next. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, secure. Tide Fieldhouse, Melbourne, Florida, not too far from Beachside here in Brevard County. It's a beautiful part of the state. Starting lineups for tonight. Scott Painter won his 15th straight season opener here last night. Set after the game, their first win. Isaiah Thompson played really well. 26 minutes of action against Liberty. Liked how Thompson got the Boilermakers into the right half court offense and defended well. For Clemson, 10 different Tigers scored last night against Mississippi State sophomore guard. Alamir Dawes started last night, but Nick Honor, the Fordham transfer, will get his first career start as a Tiger tonight. P.J. Hall will come off the bench. We talked about he had 10 points, was excellent in his first game. Big key, though, number 25, Amir Sims. How will he play and try to avoid foul trouble in game two of his brand-new season? We didn't see enough of him last night, Bob. That was a problem. Well, Amir Sims is first team all ACC, so uh, he, he's, he's going to be in a position, and let's hope that he doesn't get in foul trouble in this one early. And it's possible. It could be that uh, the man standing next to him, Hunter Tyson, guards uh, Williams, because Williams is a guy who's in the low post, and you can get fouls by guarding him too closely. So let's see how Brad Brownell handles that situation on the matchups. 
338 wins as a Big Ten coach for Matt Painter. Eighth best all time. He surpassed Thad Mata of Ohio State last night. The Boilers scorching shooting last night. 58%. Second best for a Matt Painter team in a season debut. Three-time Big Ten coach of the year. It's done a spectacular job leading the Boilermaker program. Brad Brownell, all-time wins leader. Tigers history, 186 victories now. He led Clemson to the Sweet 16. A couple years back, he tells us this is the deepest Clemson team he's ever had, and he can't wait to see how his new players respond to the bright lights of game night. Success in game one with a win head to head with Mississippi State. Zims and Williams are going to jump up here, coach. The two stars trying to shine brightly in Melbourne. Our championship game, the main event, is underway. Efficiency is the name of the game for Purdue at both ends of the floor. They were great last night in a tightly contested game until the end. They did all the right things when it counted most. Williams to handle early. Leaves off for Brandon Newman. Stefanovic. This is Wheeler. Seven to shoot on Purdue's initial possession of the game. Pressure defense by Clemson forcing them away from the basket. Good first possession for D for the Tigers. Newman the miss. Here's Chase Hunter. Will handle for Clemson. First half-court possession of the, of the night for the Tigers. Sims up top, looking for a good start. Whoa. Wide right and way off for Amir Sims. Not the start he wanted. No double. The two stars against one another. Interesting. So Coach Brownell is going to have Sims on Williams. Dangerous move. Especially if you're not going to double him. Same thing at the other end. Williams is guarding Sims, the two star players. Hunter Tyson with a handle to Sims. So Sims and Williams miss early. Drive the basket off. Rebound and a chance with some free throws here. Clyde Trapp, good hustle on the offensive glass. Trapp is one of those versatile players. Stat line from last night five points, four rebounds, four assists. Here he goes. He uses his body to protect against the shot block. And right there, Williams tries not to foul him. So Trapp going to the line. Very experienced player, high IQ guy. Missed the first 10 games last season, then played the rest of the way. Was injured. One more free throw. And here's Zach Eady. So well, we got to a minute 18. <laughs> Into the first half, Williams out. After picking up his first foul a moment ago, head to head with Clyde Trapp down low. And Zach Eady, who was just extraordinary in his debut at the Boilermaker last night, tallest player in Purdue history at 7 4. And he said he came to Purdue to continue the long tradition of great big man. And, well, it was one game, but it was a great start. I like what Brownell was doing here with a little full court pressure. Jason Ivey, who was the leading scorer, he had 12 points in the game. Uh, he wasn't the leading scorer, but he was leading guard scorer in the game. He is out with a foot injury. Immediately, they go inside to Edie, and he comes up short. Not this time. He's 9 of 10 shooting against Liberty in his first game. He can't connect on the jump hook in the paint. Point guard situation for Clemson is interesting. Honor is getting the start. Dawes is the more experienced player. Both of them were three for nine in the first game. Trap here is Otter, former Fordham Ram in the A-10, short on a three. He is a high volume shooter. No doubt about that. No conscience. He's not shy. Isaiah Thompson for Wheeler long on a three. Back on a miss and a rebound for Trap. Here's Otter again. Like we said, it's just going up. <laughs> this one's going in for Nick Otter of Clemson. Full court pressure, little denial right here. Honor's trying to keep the ball out of the hands of the point guard. Thompson does get it. His role is to set people up. And right now, not a lot of experience out there. Stefanovic is the guy, number 55. Played really well last night. Do a nice cut, lefty layup he's got. Your freshman Brandon Newman, top 75 national high school recruit, class of 2019. Yeah, didn't play at all last year. Red shirt played a good game yesterday. That's a travel. Turnover back to the Boilermakers. Second game of the night. Ethan Morton in the game. 
had mononucleosis, only practiced for a couple of days before the tournament, played a few minutes last night. All-star, player of the year in the state of Pennsylvania, six, six and a half point guard. Matt Painter said he is an outstanding passer. Drives here, a little lefty layup on the move, a miss, but who's got it? Edie in a chance for the stick back. Can't connect, but he does have some free throws coming up here for Purdue. Check this out. He's driving hard to the basket, fades out of bounds, and still Edie in the right place. I'll tell you what, seven foot four doesn't get shorter when he gets tired in a game either. So uh, he's going to be seven foot four through the entire game. And Sims, I, coach, sorry, picked up his first foul there a moment ago. Yeah, sorry. You know, yesterday he had a few dunks and a few easy shots, and he went to the free throw line, and I said, well, let's see what happens here. How good is he? And he was very, very good. His shot looks good from the free throw line, makes two out of two there. Hit his lone free throw attempt last night in that incredible 19-point game. We saw the post-game interview with the Purdue folks on YouTube, and he's just seemed very calm, matter-of-fact about how well he played. By trap, little Euro step, no whistle, but taken back. Here is Morton for Thompson for three. Rattles out. Meaty way up high, couldn't corral the rebound. That's taken back by Clemson. Dawes is in the game already, so it makes me wonder why Honors started in the first place. Maybe Brad was mad at Dawes for some reason. Miss for Alamir Dawes this time. Keep in mind, we heard just before the game that Jaden Ivey is out for Purdue, a right foot injury suffered last night. Mason Gillis back on the court. Great to see him playing again after being out for so long due to multiple injuries. Yeah. He played as a junior in high school, 985 days till his first game at Purdue. It's hard to believe. Yeah, Having away some on-court time for Clemson. Alamir Dawes, we mentioned top of the broadcast, 10 points last night. Trap beat Sims, so quiet last night, one of five shooting. Tyson up top, hits for the long-range shot. Hunter Tyson. As a 6'8 player with a good range, he played very well at the end of last season, and uh, Brad Brownell has a lot of faith in him. Stefanovic did so much well last night for Purdue. Trying to feed in the paint for Reedy. The overplay and a good read by Sims. And headed away with a run out for Clemson. Tyson left alone, thinking about back-to-back -back jacks from three, but this one's way off. And we got a timeout of Melbourne, Florida. Clemson gets off early in this one. Inside out. Tyson from deep. Watch the follow through. That's how you do it. 7-4 Tigers. Well, how do you guard a seven foot four player? Let's get physical. How about Amir Sims right here? First team all ACC doing the battle with a guy much, much taller than him. Doing a heck of a job keeping Edie from getting the ball. But right here, he tries to help. And when he gets caught underneath the basket, you can forget about it. Seven foot four is gonna get that. And of course, Edie made both of his free throws right there. Good start for Clemson. They're an experienced team. They uh, played very well at the end of last year. They beat three teams in the top six in the country down the stretch. So uh, there's a lot of confidence brewing at Clemson. Sims and Edie out for now. By the way, Zach Edie's shoe size is a 20. Coach at 7'4", 280 pounds. P.J. Hall in the game, first time battling with Trevion Williams. And a foul call down low. P.J. Hall pick up his first. Size 20, there they are. Well, you know that the problem with size 20 is you has to stand really far behind the three-point line of those toes get on the line and it becomes a two. Yeah, in the corner, it's pretty tough, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the new dimensions last year. <laughs> Let's see if Williams can get going here for Purdue. Down by three in the first half. Space goes Challenge Championship game from yeah. Melbourne, Florida. Williams baseline. Watched by Jonathan Baer, UNC Asheville transfer, originally from Germany, and Williams converts. They decide not to double team. Clemson wants to push the pace. They want to get the ball up the court quickly and try to get something early. And then if not, they're going to work it. John Newman for Hemingway. Hemingway number 12 is a shooter. Newman can put the ball on the floor. This match inside. Hall up top, thinking three. Rattles it in. It's a triple for P.J. Hall. 
How about him not starting it? First touch, knocks it in. <laughs> He's really a good player. First career three corner for P.J. Hall. Clemson fans hope that is the first of many to come for this youngster. Oh, it will be. There's no doubt about that. Inside, look at the small against the big. And on the perimeter, the big against the small. P.J. knocks it in. He is a very, very solid player. I was impressed by him last night. Fabian does a lot of dribble handoff situations. A lot of that in Purdue's offense. And on a switch, Williams will roll to the basket. So far, Clemson is not switching that. So he does the dribble handoff and then slides down into the paint looking for a post up. First team, all Big Ten. And that's the best league in the country, was last year, is this year. Two fouls, P.J. Hall there, Coach. So right back to the bench for Clemson. Wasn't in for long. Did hit the three-pointer, but quickly out. Wow, that's interesting. Gillis the handle. Here's Williams up top. Here's the dribble handoff. Stefanovic under 10 to shoot for Purdue. Need some help. Bailout pass for Williams. Four to shoot. Trevion Williams between the leg dribble. Spin and a foul first just before the timer was set to go off for is that, a good half-court possession. Let's see here. Is that on Sims Day? Gets Alamir Dawes. Okay, uh, that's good for Clemson. Yeah, that, that certainly foul on him. Uh, whacked him right across the wrist as he was going up. And that's a bailout because now they get uh, the ball underneath the basket, and that would easily have been a miss. Williams, I'd like to see him get off a little bit. Didn't have much of a chance last night. Let's see if he can do it this time. Timeout Melbourne, Florida. Championship games underway. Tigers by four. Hi, can I get one espresso shake and one Oreo espresso shake? Is it espresso? Espresso. 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 Espresso shake. No, espresso I, or espresso? It's espresso. Ten to six Tigers early. Travion Williams uh, was almost running. Keep your eye on the shot clock on the right hand side and there's the foul before the shot clock went off. So Purdue gets the ball underneath the basket. The officials took a look at that during that timeout. Jeff Spadoski, Michael Griffith, and Kenny Clark. All court officiating crew here tonight in Melbourne, Florida for the championship game. Amir Dawes on the move. Hemingway works that for Newman. Trying to find Amir Sims to get him going tonight. No double. Nice physical play by Sims, but a better shot by William. The two all-conference players going at it in the low post. The fadeaway off the window. Numbers last night for Williams. Couple field goals here in the championship game. That was sweet. Sims is bumped by Williams. Who picks up a second foul? Well, he, he's going to have to go to the bench with 12.51 left. Right here, Travion is reading it. He sees no white jerseys coming, so he gets the turnaround jumper, and uh, nicely done. That's not an easy shot. But both of the star players guarding one another, and they're picking up fouls. Travion now, Sims last night had two fouls very early, and now uh, Travion has two right here. Two for P.J. Hall for Clemson. So foul trouble and early story. Sims the kick out. Long range shot is way short. Omax Prosper of the game for the first time. Zach Eady is going to have to play extended minutes right now with Williams on the bench with two fouls. And this is going to be something that uh, Matt Painter has to be concerned with as, as the season progresses here. Williams only played 21 minutes a game last year. And Harms was the other guy, who, the seven-footer, who played also. So Edie is going to have to play a lot of minutes by himself, not with Williams in the game. Thompson runs the show. Stefanovic up top. Long three. He's got it. Sasha Stefanovic flashes a deep triple for Purdue. I love this guy. I mean, he is just so with it. 
His father was a terrific player at Illinois State, got drafted in the NBA. Three for Sasha last night. Yep. Semi-final win over Liberty. Sims in trouble. Spins, hoping for a kick out, looking for a five trap, but it's out of bounds. He's back in. Amir Sims coach to me looks a little disjointed right now. Yeah, you know, and, and and yesterday he didn't get to play a lot, as we've mentioned a number of times, and uh, and you wonder about it. A, a guy like him needs touches, and uh, that should be an offensive foul. Here it is, Thompson. Sophomore guard, Isaiah Thompson. P.J. is a great player for you. Former point guard. Timeout in Melbourne, 11-10 game. Tomorrow for Eastern, more college football action. We have a battle for Michigan's as Central takes on Eastern on CBS Sports Network. It's Maction for Eastern college football presented by Geico. Mac with the abbreviated schedule coach. They started late playing six games, five within their division, the Mac East and West. And well, you got to bring your A game right away when you're only playing half a season. Yeah, do they do they have a date where teams can uh, make up games if they have Not a lot of wiggle room there, no. like the Pac-12. Not a lot. But there's a championship game scheduled. And we got, a, we got a championship game here. Yeah, resuming here, one-point game for Purdue. Sasa just fell down. I hope he's not didn't turn his ankle. Three-pointer Three hit and a timeout. Stefanovic was hurting there a bit, no question. He's a tough guy, no doubt about that. Has a lot of leadership qualities. Because he fell down, they're taking a moment to mop up the floor <clears throat> where his sweat got on the floor. First field goal for Sims, a three-pointer. It's only his second field goal of this entire tournament so far for Clemson. You know, with Jaden Ivey out of the game, there's one less guard for Matt Painter to use, and Brad Brownell knows that. So as a result, he's, he's getting some full-court pressure on them during the course of the game. And let's take a look uh, right here where the slip is. See, that was a wet spot. It looked like he turned his knee. That should have been cleaned up beforehand. Luckily, he's okay and remains in the game for Purdue. Thompson has to be careful. He's using his right hand as he's dribbling left-handed. And he's got one offensive foul for doing that, pushing off. Edie's going to have to play extended minutes here with two fouls, and <laughs> I think he's going to like it. That works out just fine. Really lost the ball, came right to Edie for the easy hammer. And the 7-4 center has got his first field goal of game two. That was pretty career. I'm telling you, the force is with that kid, man. I mean, he, the force is with him. Notice how he's guarding the perimeter here, keeping his hands up. He understands that's his access and that's his best, best attribute. Back-to-back -back jacks for Amir Sims from three, not getting it going inside. So why not take the act beyond the arc and hit a couple threes? Well, he's a guy who shot nearly 40% from three-point land last year. And they're looking at that same spot on the floor. But if Edie is guarding Sims, Sims is going to take him away from the basket, guaranteed. He's not going to try to post up Edie. Edie's got like, I don't know, six or seven inches on him. So Sims is smart enough to play a, away from the basket as he takes a seat right now. And I think Lynn Kidd has come in for him. He's, yep. a, he's a six foot ten inch freshman. Or that top 20 Clemson recruiting class. Best for Brad Brownell since taking over the Tiger program. Great young talent. With P.J. Hall, who's out early tonight after playing so well last night. Two fouls for Hall, so we haven't seen much of him. Steal for Honor. And Nick Honor lays it in for two. I'll tell you what, the five three-point shots made for Clemson is, is really what's the story of this game so far offensively. And uh, their defense has been excellent, as it was last night. They held Mississippi State to 42 points. So, so far, their defense is extending and uh, creating some turnovers. Let's take a look at Nick Honor. The transfer from Fordham, averaged 15 a game. You and I saw him get 30 against Rutgers. And right here, a clean steal. This guy knows how to play basketball. And he's he's only, five, you know, like six foot, but he's about 205 pounds. So he is a physical guard. Set out last year after the transfer from Fordham of the A-10. 15 points a game. It's 73 is to lead Fordham. He has one year up at Rose Hill. 
Into the corner, Alamir Dawes, intended receiver of the pass, knocked out of bounds, and 12 issue here for Clemson. I was speculating last night how much that Honor and Dawes would be playing together for Clemson this year. You know, they guard each other in practice, but they're two point guards, and there they are together on the floor tonight. I think with that, they bring heavy-duty pressure defensively, and they bring two guys who can really score in the backcourt. Quad trap too strong. Senior guard for Clemson. A back iron miss. And Wheeler the rebound for Purdue. Stefanovic. Three ball short this time. Front iron miss. Edie corrals the rebound. Ben has it stripped. Which didn't happen much last night. Tie up. Ball goes the other way. Well, he put, that's the first time I've seen him put the ball on the ground in an inopportune moment. Maybe he just has, has to catch his balance when he does this. That's probably the case. But... He needed to get the ball back out. He was triple teamed. When you're seven foot four and you put the ball on the floor, you take away all of your advantage. Played hockey and baseball growing up in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Didn't play basketball seriously until six months before he was selected by the Canadian Junior National Team. Six months. Three years IMG Academy here in Florida and has become a top player for Purdue. He's still developing, but man, what an athlete, clearly, for the Boilermakers. He challenged that shot, too. So far, Wheeler's doing a good job on the defensive glass, number one for Purdue. I'm really anxious to watch Morton, number 25, kid with the ball right the, over there. He has got a big Bottom reputation, number, number 25. And he was in a, a, a few times, he couldn't practice this year because it was a contact tracing thing. He never tested positive but he knew somebody, so he was out for a couple of weeks. And, then, you know, there's three or four things. Then he got mono. So I don't think he's probably in very, very good condition. And uh, he's been in and out in this game so far, played sparingly last night. But you can see what a great handle he has just by the way he moves and passes the basketball. Butler, Pennsylvania, chose Purdue over Virginia, Ohio State, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin, Oregon among many top programs. You mentioned a player of the year in the state. Of Pennsylvania. Williams left low block, way too strong off the glass. Wheeler a hand on it, and Purdue will keep it. Matt Painter wasn't sure if Morton would be able to play in this tournament. Did play last night sparingly in and out because of the motto, basically day to, your day to day. I mean, I, you know, I had it a long time ago <laughs> high school, which it's not easy to overcome that. Well, you get tired, right? Yeah. You know, so uh, his, his conditioning is not great, as I mentioned, but. Uh, He's got game, there's no doubt about that. And Butler is in western Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh area. Here he is inbounding the basketball. Seven to shoot here for the Boilers. It was become a low-scoring defensive-minded game. Thompson the drive, can't hit as he hangs with a left-handed shot. Difficult play. Alamir Dobbs got the rebound and run out for Clemson. Here's Omax Prosper from Montreal, Quebec. The miss, Sims there to clean it up for Clemson. better night for Amir Sims already. That guy's a leader. Verbally, even when he wasn't playing last night, very much into the game, helping teammates, you know, talking, didn't sulk about him not playing a lot because of the fouls, and a uh, lot to admire about Sims. Eight points, three or four shooting Sims so far tonight. Morton trying to kick it out. Works for Brandon Newman, under 10 to shoot, launching a long three, got some twine, that's all. Williams, good effort, baseline to keep the play alive. Two to shoot, though. Morton, short. 17-footer. I am impressed with the defense of Clemson. I'm impressed with them pushing it, too. The pace is very, very good for them. Al this, Amir does, coach, what a move. This is how they want to play basketball. Clemson wants the pressure. They want to keep it up. They want to push the ball offensively. And they want to pressure the basketball at the defensive end. They keep you out of running your regular stuff, so you have to put the ball on the floor and make plays. And there's not a lot of guys on Purdue that can do that, and here's one of them. Thompson hangs, offensive foul. Another example of terrific defense. Trap is in the right place to take the charge as a help side defender. Clemson Steve doing it so far. 22-13 Tigers. We are seeing the real Amir Sims tonight, the all-ACC level guy. A three against Edie. Edie can't get out on him again. Another three. 
And then right here, offensive rebounding when he is not blocked out. Check out the enthusiasm here. Check out the leadership here. Get that guy. Get that guy. You gotta love this kid. Big personality. Big, big personality. NBA ready body. And uh, he's gonna have a great year this season. I'm with you, Coach. I was so impressed with his demeanor last night. He was not a factor. Early foul trouble. Still helping yep. coach up the younger guys. So many young, talented players for Clemson. And he was really active. Seated at the uh, yeah. at the end of the bench there. Socially distanced seats here in Melbourne at Titan Fieldhouse. The staff's done a fantastic job making sure all the players on court officiating crew, TV crew, everyone is safe. He was like the hall monitor, you know, guarding the hall. <laughs> He's seated the, by, by the exit there at the end of the gym last night. Here's Sims. Thought about pass instead, shoots and converts. So, yeah, it's going well for Amir Sims tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it. Making threes. He's, uh, this is the guy that we were hoping to see last night. See, I mean, you, you just uh, you just love his demeanor on the court. You just, you know, he's he's a guy that uh, other people love to play with. He avoids the charge right there. Could easily have charged into Wheeler, and his body enabled him to go sideways right there. 24-13. I'll tell you what, Purdue's a pretty good team, but what they're missing in Jaden Ivey, who's got the foot injury, he can break the defense down with the dribble. And and Purdue does not have a lot of guys that do that right now. So uh, zero points in the last four minutes. Checking the shot clock here, Coach. Chase Hunter. Oh, it kept going. It kept, it kept going. Kept moving for a couple more seconds. Keep in mind, too, that Purdue's without Eric Hunter Jr., Jr. guard. Yep. The second leading returning score for Purdue. Turnover. Some trouble in the inbound play there with Mason Gillis. Hunter is recovering from a compression fracture of his knee. And they're hoping to get him back relatively soon, but he's had surgery probably out another four to six weeks. Yeah, and uh, led them in minutes last year, and you're right. I mean, they're missing him big time right now. Leadership, experience, and and uh, skill. You know, he averaged 10 points a game last year. You know, got a lot of steals. You know, the whole deal. Traveling call. Chase Hunter unable to get a clean handle there for Clemson. Hunter's been, you know, I, I mean, he's a very good athlete, and he had a broken finger, and uh, he's mishandled the ball several times yesterday and today. Uh, but they like his defense, his tenacity. But I think uh, he's going to get better as the season goes on. Had, had several injuries last year as well. Senior from Atlanta. Limited to nine games last year with a foot fracture. So, yeah, he's overcome quite a bit for Clemson. Edie back in the game trying to get going here against Sims, but can't hit. He'll follow and hit that shot. Counted for Zach Edie. Falling away, the awkward jumper and a chance for a three-point play for the big man. Sims does a relatively good job here playing his body. Uh, nobody double teams, and at the end, they try to, but it's way too late. And uh, the closer he gets to the basket, the better off it is. He uses his elbows to get his way toward the hoop. And uh, very, very nice. Chase Hunter trying to knock that aside, which is not easy if you're facing a 7-4 center. Commits the foul. That's his first for Clemson. And a free throw miss. Sims the rebound for the Tigers. He had been 2-2 two two from the free throw line tonight. So six points for the freshman in his second career game as a Boilermaker. Knocked out of bounds. Good hands from Brandon Newman. Half-court defense impressive for Clemson in this first half. Well, they've been pressuring the basketball and, uh, you know, not letting Purdue run their stuff. Purdue was very effective from three-point range yesterday, and not much of that in this game at all for them. Honor up top. Set up for three, buries the three. Nick Honor's got two triples tonight for the Tigers. Yeah, and he came off the screen right there. Full court pressure has been effective of, of keeping Purdue out of what they want to do at this end. They're starting their offense way out too far. Newman the drive in the basket, lefty scoop to the hoop for two. Yeah, and that's what they need to do when you're being pressured like that. He's the best at it in this game. Ivy would have been that for them had he been able to play today. Newman the third for Clemson can't convert. 
Here's Edie, left of the paint, turns it over. Nice double team that time. They double teamed before he could get close to the basket. You gotta force Edie to be a passer and see if he has that ability. Nick Connors got two of seven threes hit for Clemson. Newman the third, lefty three. That one rattles out. Rebound for Mason Gillis. Thompson drives in for two. How about that one? Nice play by Thompson. Smallest, thinnest guy on the floor, lightest guy on the floor. Taking it in hard. Clemson by eight over Purdue. It's the ACC and the Big Ten in Melbourne for a championship tonight. Travion Williams, number 15, is all Big Ten preseason. He's coming back into the game right now. He's been in foul trouble, and uh, he's uh, the type of guy that's going to have to learn how to play with fouls because he's going to be in foul trouble some this year, and they cannot afford to leave him on the bench for extended amounts of time. Edie's good, but he's not ready to be in there for long periods of time. Williams had the nation's only 30-20 game, Coach, last year. 36 points at 20 rebounds against Michigan. How about that? Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. On her way off on a three and on cue, Williams has the defensive rebound for Purdue. Purdue had a guy named Clarence Swanigan a couple of years ago who was an All-American, and uh, I think Williams does not like to be compared to him. And uh, Matt Painter told us it's an honor to be compared to him. That was one of the best players in college basketball. Here's Clemson's honor with a steal <laughs> and a chance for a three-point play. How about Nick Honor with reading the pass beautifully across court? Makes the steal, the run out, and a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, I mean, that that's a very ill-advised pass. I mean, you don't throw it from the corner cross court to a guy near the top of the key on the opposite side of the floor. That is just breeding grounds for steals. All well, Atlantic 10 freshman team member, 14th highest freshman scorer nationally, is one year at Fordham and completes a three-point play. So he's got a team best 11 points in his second game as a Clemson Tiger. try to earn that starting point guard job, right? <laughs> With Alamir Dawes head-to-head. -head. Yeah, well, Alamir Dawes played all last year, but I'll tell you what, Nick Honor is a very, very good offensive player. Williams, good position, right low block. Stripped initially. Alamir Dawes had a hand on it. Stick back. Successful there for Mason Gills, and it's out of bounds again. Wow, nothing going down right now for Williams and... Uh, even the offensive rebound was a possibility. Eight for 23. That is not going to do it. 35%. Clemson shooting 46%, including six made threes tonight. And 13 tries from beyond the arc to the Tigers. Jonathan Bear on a bounce. Trap. Perfect shot from 10. Nice execution. Two screens, two screens along the baseline, and he was wide open. This guy got bumped off. Largest lead of the night here for the Tigers at 13. Look how far out they are. I mean, they make four or five passes, and they're still six feet beyond the three-point line. Williams, foul. That's Sims. Yeah, Sims checked him twice. You're allowed to do that once, but on the second one, the whistle is going to blow. 32-19, ACC over the Big Ten right now. Coming up on AT&T 5G at the half, college basketball news and notes, halftime stats and highlights. We'll recap what we've seen here in Melbourne, Florida tonight. Championship game between Purdue and Clemson. Liberty beat Mississippi State in the consolation game. It was raining threes in our first game tonight, Bob. Ooh, I'll tell you what, 19-3 school record for Liberty. I mean, they were letting them fly, and McGee was the best of everybody. Purdue struggling offensively right now, and uh, Clemson's defense, you got to give them credit. I mean, if, if they weren't playing good defense, Purdue would be scoring. And uh, so far, Clemson's defense have been the story in terms of team stuff in this tournament. Sims' foul was his second just before the break. So Williams to the free throw line for Purdue to shoot here. The boiler shot 58% for the game last night in their 13-point win over Liberty in the semifinals. They shot 65% in the first half. Yeah. So a much different story here against Clemson. 
And they were good from three-point range as well. So uh, their balance last night was very much in evidence. Uh, the in and out of uh, Williams situation with fouls can really take a guy out of his offensive flow, and I think that's happened in this game. Got fouls early, had to sit, came back in, went, then went out, then came back in. And uh, that takes it, uh, sometimes that takes you out. And it, it, again, he's out right here. Preserving him for the second half. Edie in, a, certainly a valuable substitute and a guy that uh, is going to be a great player. But uh, having Williams in the game, which they'd be much better off. Three and a half to go first half. Two fouls for Williams. We'll see if Matt Painter goes back to him this first half. Probably not. Bear up top from Wiesbaden, Germany. Can't quite connect. The shot was from Wiesbaden? <laughs> he is. Oh, he is. Oh, oh. That kommt aus Deutschland. Okay. UNC Asheville transfer. Part of a Big South tournament championship team there. Hands are up. Alamir Dawes come across court there, trying to strip that away from eating a foul call. Edie on the roll does one very, very good thing for a guy his size. He sets the screen, and watch as he rolls, his hands immediately go up. And when he gets close to the basket, his hands are up, and, and he's a big target. You don't even have to make a precise pass to get it to him. So he has uh, got some very sound fundamentals. Dawes to take a seat, socially distanced bench here at Titan Fieldhouse in Melbourne, Florida. And Edie front end of the one-on-one. One. Let's watch Edie's hands on these, this free throw, if we can get a close-up on his hands and see how big his hands are when he gets the ball right here. Frequently, that makes it tough to shoot free throws, but with him, so far, so good. All right, now let's see when he puts his hands on the basketball, how big it is, whether it covers the entire ball. Look at that. <laughs> oh, he's man. huge. He's just huge. He's too. Good touch from the free throw line, me. He's checked all our boxes that we've seen so far in two games for Zach Eady. He said after the game last night, he wasn't nervous at all. Just ready to go. Felt prepared with the preseason practice that Matt Painter had. Bear tries the paint. Not a good idea against Zach Eady. And it's swatted away by the big man. Wheeler at the end. Corner three. Battles out. Clyde trapped offensive glass for Clemson. Clemson did something very interesting just then. Two guys blocked out Edie. Two guys went to him when the shot went up. If he's, close, if he's close to the basket, you know, within five, six feet of the basket, and he's blocked out, it doesn't matter. He still has the reach. Things get physical, physical on the inbounds. Struggle tonight for Purdue from three after bearing nine triples last night. Yeah, yeah. That's where Amir Sims was last night, <laughs> right by that door in the gym here in Melbourne, Florida, trying to help his teammates out. In a tough couple games for the preseason All Big Ten pick. Well, both guys on the bench uh, at either end, Sims and Williams. There's Sims at, at his side and. He's looking at doing a little, a little talking to his guys here about blocking out on the free throw. I just love his attitude out there. The two stars on the sideline, and uh, there have been lots of, of that in the last two days, don't you think, Dave, where, where star players have had two fouls and they've been sitting on the bench, you know? The star players have not played extended minutes much in this tournament. Been a headline, unfortunately, for those guys and their coaches yeah. and fan base. Yeah. <laughs> We're very anxious for the season opening games here in Melbourne, Florida. Steal Stefanovic, the lead. Oh, Easy cool. jam for Wheeler. That is so unselfish. Martin gave it up to Stefanovic, and he got it to Wheeler. Wheeler's been playing a minute, ton of minutes. I don't think he's been out of the game. I mean, yesterday and today, he's the foreman on this team, but he's a thin foreman, number one. First field goal tonight. Bear thought about a three. Pump fake on Edie, then lost it. Well, Purdue doesn't run that much in this uh, tournament so far. And right here, they get the steal, and uh, they're off to the races. And that is four guys touching the ball and going three-quarters court right here with no dribble. That is a thing of beauty. That is nice, fast-break basketball there.
Matt Painter hoping for more offense from Wheeler this year, especially from long range, but he's getting done in tight quarters tonight. That's tipped out of bounds. Clemson disagrees here up by seven with just over a minute and a half remaining in our first half tonight. Morton made a left-handed pass, one-handed off the dribble to Edie, and Edie wasn't ready for it. Fortunately, a Clemson player tapped it out of bounds, fortunately for Purdue. 21 seconds left, plenty of time to get what you want. Brandon Newman lost it. Bear, the takeaway, and here's Trapp and Clemson. Steals favor the Tigers tonight. Good patience here. Clemson averages about seven steals a game. There's the take, there's Trap. Elevate and hammers for Clemson. How about Clyde Trap? Uh, that was beautiful. They were showing very, very good patience and they got a good shot. Remaining first half here in Melbourne, Florida. Edie, the cut, and a foul first. Sent Edie to the free throw line. Clyde Trapp, take a look at number zero on your screen. Hesitation dribble, looks one way, and explodes. Very, very nice. That's an educated player. Been around for a long time. I'm sure Clemson fans are glad to see the knee brace off. Last year, the knee injury troubles limited his play, and and a bulky brace much of the season. Miss for Edie. ACL tear. Didn't play the first 10 games. Played the rest of the season, though. And he's been around. This is his senior season. In June, towards ACL, the day before the team was going to the World University Games to Italy. Yeah. That's just heartbreaking. And they won. Yeah, they still won. Yeah. Second free throw for Edie. Final 40 ticks fading. First half clock here in Melbourne, Florida. Tyson up top. Long for Edie, not close. Well, right now, uh, Morton is obviously wanting to get only one shot right here. He's got to be careful of the 10-second thing. There he is. He's got a cross. He's got a nice handle. He's got long arms. He's got to make sure he protects the ball against smaller players, though. 6'6", 215. Freshman from the Pittsburgh area we talked about. Morton trying to dribble, dribble, dribble. Let's to say it. through traffic. That's what I was trying to get out. And lost it with 9.4 seconds to go in the first half. Yeah, not good right there. My broadcasting or the move from Morton? <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting, right? Get Sims in with 9.4 seconds to go. Offense. And uh, the idea here is he's good on offense. He's you know, not going to pick up a foul, but the uh, it can bite you sometimes because a guy like him might want to go to the offensive glass and go over somebody's back. So he's got to be careful of that. And on the other side, Edie comes out because Matt Painter does not want him picking up another foul with the last possession here. Final moments, first half. Here's Otter with a handle. Tyson up top, fakes the three, then lets it fly. Not close off the mark wide. Right and that is the end of the first half tonight from Melbourne, Florida. Clemson by eight, coach, an impressive opening 20. Very, very good defense by the Tigers. And Sims playing his normal game now, contributing heavily. And last year, uh, last night, you know, he only played eight minutes. So uh, the Clemson Tigers looking pretty good right here. They're making Purdue struggle on offense. Team best 11 for Nick Honor. And Amir Sims had 10, two double-figure scores for Clemson in the opening half from the Space Coast Challenge. So halfway home, championship game, the main event. One team will take the trophy home, and one is going to be the runner-up. Coming up, AT&T 5G at the half. Happy Thanksgiving, one and all. Enjoy the hoops tonight from Melbourne, Florida, and the Space Coast. Happy Thanksgiving, one and all. Hope it's been happy and safe for all of our college basketball fans tonight here on CBS Sports Network. Clemson leading Purdue 36-28. We are getting set for the start of the second half of the Space Coast Challenge from Titan Fieldhouse here in Melbourne, Florida. Dave Ryan alongside Bob Wenzel. First big weekend of college basketball. Some notable games going on. We know Gonzaga had a big one today with Kansas. Yeah, and, and Auburn is in that same tournament, four-team tournament, just like we have here. It's uh, over on the other coast of Florida. And uh, Gonzaga looked like the number one team today for sure. They were awesome. 
And then on Saturday, you got Notre Dame and Michigan State. And Tom Izzo's team does not have Cassius Winston, who seems to be, have been there for 10 years. Rocket Watts takes over the point guard position uh, for the Spartans. And then Houston is ranked in the top 20 uh, against Texas Tech, a battle of two teams uh, fairly close to one another in the state of Texas. So uh, that's going to be a good one also. So lots of good stuff coming up this weekend. So great to see college basketball. No question. Opening day and night last night, it was busy across the country. UCLA, San Diego State, you saw on CBS Sports Network, that was a huge victory for the Mountain West early. Robinson, Reddy Williams, and the Purdue team trying to get things going here in half number two. We'll see. As we talked about no Jaden Ivey, the right foot injury. Eric Hunter Jr. still recovering from surgery. So not quite the same Purdue team you'll see, Coach, once things get going in Big Ten for you. Yeah, and, and you're right. Eric Hunter is the big name there. Jaden Ivey is a freshman and very, very talented. But Eric Hunter is a very experienced player. He's a junior this year, and uh, without him, you know, they, they're just not the same. And uh, even though they have some good freshmen on this team, they're going to have some growing pains. And uh, in the meantime, a little bit more experienced team right here in white is taking advantage of the situation with their aggressive defense. So Amir Williams, P.J. Hall, jumping rope a little bit there. The halftime break and warm-ups getting ready for half number two. Didn't see a lot of Hall in the first half due to foul trouble. You know, three points, one on one shooting, only played one minute and picked up two fouls. Here we go, half number two, tight field house, Melbourne, Florida. Dave and Bob Wiggett watching the final half of the inaugural Space Ghost Challenge. One team will take home the trophy. Sims had a block, first shot, second half. Yeah, nice play by Wheeler. He's long, 6'9", as a three man. Stefanovic to take, but no two. Rebound for Tyson. Tyson trails, but can't hit a three. Front iron miss. Honor, great job harassing Thompson near midcourt and causes the turnover. Nick Honor, coach, we saw him a couple years ago at Fordham, an offensive powerhouse, but he's getting it done defensively here tonight for sure. Been disruptive a lot. Miss for Sims. His defense is, you know, he's not overly quick, but he's smart, and, and he's anticipating cross-court passes and, and, you know, lazy outlet plays and those kind of things. That's where he's at his best. Thompson really impressed Coach Matt Painter last night with his play in the semifinal. Right in front of his bench. Hits a three. Case in point for Isaiah Thompson of Purdue. His first triple of the game. Boy, you got to be kidding me. I mean, that was right in Matt Painter's lap. And they needed it badly. I mean, this is a team that uses the three-point shot and uh, has been absent from the repertoire in this game. Thompson had one three ball last night. Sims the back in on Williams, but it's too strong back iron miss. And the rebound for Aaron Wheeler. Can Williams get it going in the second half? Here's his touch on the baseline. The back in on Sims. 10 to shoot. Travion Williams, the pump fake, and can't convert. Again. Tyson the rebound. Gets it off to Chase Hunter. Trap the kick out for Arner. That is a deep three ball. Rattles it in. Nick Arner. I mean, that was from Indian Harbor Beach. <laughs> Beach side here in the Melbourne area. That was a bomb three. Well, both point guards have made deep threes so far in this half. And uh, you could say ill-advised. Hunter kicks for honor again on the right side of three. He is fearless. A high volume shooter misses this time short. Rebound for Williams. Purdue trying to gain some traction offensively. And a bump foul on Chase Hunter. Nick Honor from three in transition, and uh, there are lots of different kinds of threes. You know, we talk about threes, but there are threes in transition, threes in set offense. I mean, there's lots of different ways to get them, and uh, shooting in transition, I believe, is a very good way to shoot them because the defense is retreating, and you're pretty open, and even on a miss, the defense isn't set, so you have a chance for an offensive rebound. So uh, 
Transition threes are a very, very good percentage play. On a route for now, P.J. Hall is back in. Newman trouble to handle, but avoids the turnover at the midcourt strike. Send a shoot here for Purdue. Morton has returned. And the struggles continue for the Boilers in the second half here. Three fouls on Zach Eady. Totally different makeup of game two for Matt Painter this year. You know, I, I mean, Edie's going to stay in, and, uh, you know, they, they've had success when he handles the ball in the half court situation, but uh, they haven't had as many of those kind of sets because of the pressure that Clemson is putting on the guards. Alamir Dawes. Turned over. Isaiah Thompson had stripped by Dawes. Comes back to Purdue. And Tyson finds a loose change. Two fouls. Correct that on Zach Eady. Turnover numbers. Wow. Purdue 16 miscues. 10 second call. The last couple of minutes have been very sloppy by both teams. And uh, I don't know whether guys are falling asleep here or their focus is gone. But um, the last few minutes, even though the game is a low-scoring game, there's been a lot of good plays in the first half. And uh, now it's denigrating a little bit. A guy like Trapp can step up in a situation like this because of his experience and his versatility. Someone needs to step up for free. The big guy, Edie, who gathers and dunks Zach Edie the hammer, a rim rocker here in Melbourne. He made P.J. Hall, who's 6'10", look small on that play. Seven foot four. He's a big guy, Zach Edie. Kick out, ball up top, thinking about a three ball. Whoa, that is not close. Didn't get the rim, so the timer rolls on here. Nine to shoot for Alamir Dawes. One-on-one -on -one situation. The whole court is cleared to Dawes. Launches a three, and that's the second way off three <laughs> in a possession for Clemson. Wow. Three to shoot here. Edie gets the ball close to the basket, and you can forget about it. Does a good job with his hips holding off, and the weak side is way too late. Time out of Melbourne, a six-point lead for Clemson. Purdue needs to get going offensively right now to win this championship. Jeff Spadoski, Michael Griffith, and Kenny Clark checking out the replay in our video feed from our TV production truck here in Melbourne. So the first shot from Hall, that did not hit the rim. That was well off the mark and wide. Then Alamir Dawes gets it. He'll try three. That's an air ball that Edie can't corral on the baseline. So two long threes. Don't draw iron, but the good news for Clemson, they've got the ball here. The officials want to make sure the clock is correct. Looked like it was at three seconds. And we'll get things straightened out here with our on-court officiating crew. The game clock's been adjusted here, Bob, so 1554 is what we've got here at second half. Two coaches being briefed here by the officiating crew. So it has been officially called a shot clock violation. You with that, Bob? I'm not sure I follow that. One. Yeah. <laughs> well, it must have been a shot clock uh, not operating correctly. But that, that's right. Okay. Well, well let's look at it this way. If you're in the schoolyard and you shoot two air balls, you don't deserve to get the ball that's back right. anyway, right? Well, the ball doesn't lie, right? There, there, there you go. Okay. okay. Bottom line here is Purdue's ball down by half a dozen. Newman, pump fake on a three. Here's Edie, 
triple team. Tigers all around him. So that means someone's open. It's Thompson who buries a long range shot. A triple for Isaiah Thompson of Purdue. That is the best half court possession of the entire game for Purdue right there. The ball moved. It was inside, outside, and from one side of the floor to the other, and they got a clean look three. Third three of the game, a 13-5. Boy, the run to get right back in this one down by three or one possession game. Bear left alone, left side three, airborne, rattles it in. Jonathan Bear. Wow. That's a big six foot ten guy shooting threes. A seldomly used guy, although this year he's going to get much, much more time. He's been through two ACL tears and surgeries. Yeah. Former all big south player at UNC Asheville. Response three again, Newman. And suddenly the offense gets going for both sides here. Purdue is too good a team and they're too well coached to go through an entire game with being disjointed on offense. I mean, that's not, not going to happen. And right now, their good offense should lead to better defense in terms of energy. Morton gets beat baseline right there. Newman the third. The lefty of the junior for Clemson with a nice response. You know, I like Thompson off the ball. It, it, it gets him some better shots. And with Morton in there handling, you know, number 11, Thompson can get open a little bit easier for shots. Edie Indy. He's tough to defend when he's that close to the basket. And he converts the righty jump hook. Landed a little awkwardly there, but Zachy is all right. Yeah, and, and that's not an easy shot right there. The, the jump hook, he's a little bit off balance. I thought he was defended pretty well one-on-one -on -one there. 13 points on foul. Yeah, nice block out by Gillis right there. Gillis is a strong player. I think the more he gets to play, he's been out for so long, 900-something days. The longer he gets to be in the game, the better off he's going to be. 985 days, how about that? Yeah, that's crazy. March 17th of 2018, towards ACL in an AAU game, and redshirt last year missed his entire senior year, did Mason Gillis of Purdue because of the knee injury. Back now, only one player in the nation, a longer drought of not playing, that's DeAndre Dishman of Middle Tennessee, a thousand five days between games for him. Wow. Great to see him back in the court. Both guys, I mean, congratulations. <laughs> that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's crazy. What an arduous process to return. Williams baseline against him. Strong move. There's an all Big Ten performer type move for Travion Williams. Timeout. Clemson, one point game. Efficiency is thy name, half court offense. Go baseline. Don't step on the line. Use the backboard. Basic stuff. When you're stagnant on offense, you got to do something. And the inside outside game right now is working for Purdue. A three there. It went inside to Edie. Now the ball reversal back to Newman. Inside to Edie. And then he takes it by himself. So three possessions, very, very good for Purdue. And then on the last possession, that guy, Travion Williams, got a layup also. So that is more like what we're accustomed to seeing from the Boilermakers. And they are right back in the game. Edie out for now. The socially distanced seating here at Titan Fieldhouse in Melbourne, Florida. That's a great idea. And uh, the players, as you mentioned before, are tested every single day. No positives by anybody involved in any of these uh, programs during this Thanksgiving break here. The folks at Triple Crown Sports promoting this event done a tremendous job. Make sure everyone is healthy and safe. Sims with a nice move gets the roll for Clemson. Dozen for Sims, 14 for Honor. Two double-figure scores for Clemson so far tonight. Newman and Edie in double figures for Purdue. Stefanovic open, top of the three. Top of the key three for Sasha Stefanovic, the junior, has his second triple of the game. And he just got back in just now. And we are tied at 46. 
Purdue completes the comeback trail against Clemson tonight. One time, a 13-point lead for the Tigers. Sims is fouled by Williams. Little coaching going on right here by Sims. And he does it in a positive way, doesn't he? Always. Love Let's that take, attitude. Let's take a look here. Ball fake and then the spin toward the baseline. And, of course, he's uh, Williams feels like he went straight up. Three fouls, Williams for Purdue. One more free throw here for Amir Sims. 13.7 rebounds a game last year. First Clemson preseason all-ACC pick since 2016. Third team or a year ago. Hoping to make another leap and help Clemson to a big season. 16-15 last year. And nine ACC wins, good for ninth place a year ago. Brand new roster look for Clemson. Brand new look for the ACC. Same for Purdue in the Big Ten. So see how things unfold this year. Williams the touch. Left of the lane. Watched by Sims. And a finish. Jump hook. <laughs> how about that? The two all-star players now in the second half going at one another. They're guarding one another. They're both playing with their back to the basket and using power to keep their teams even. A little sense of urgency here, Bob, as the game progresses into the second half. Dawes, two-man game. Sims, Bear hits a three. How about Bear? He made a three from one side. Now he makes a three from the other side as well. Pretty solid. I like what they're doing defensively. This has been the entire game. It has a cumulative effect. You may not force a turnover right away. But down the line, you do. Let's take a look at Bear from the right wing. This guy is six foot ten. He is open. I'm open. Let me jack it. Nothing but bottom. The bread and butter for Travion Williams is back to the basket moves. And in the second half, he has been very productive doing that. First on one block, a power move to the middle and a turnaround jumper. Then a fake to the middle and go along the baseline. His power at 6'10", 260 is really, really important. And he uses his body to protect the basketball. He's not a leaper, doesn't get above the rim much, but he plays a physical style of basketball. And uh, it's been productive in the second half here. Big, strong guy, Bob. He came to campus in West Lafayette. He was 325 pounds, went down to 265. And as you mentioned, that 260 range now for his junior season. And Matt Painter said last night we just couldn't get him going. Put him in some good spots in the first game in the half-court offense. But he's come alive here in the second half with a game on the line. And a three-point Clemson lead. Here's a takeaway for Sims. Run out for Bear in traffic. The finish and one. Jonathan Bear from Germany with love. I'll tell you what, they have found something with Jonathan Bear as a sub at six foot ten. Running the floor beautifully right here. Protects the ball against the foul. And gets fouled and makes it anyway. The pass was from Sims, so that's a six eight to a six ten on the fast break. Very nicely done. Das war ausgezeichnet. That was excellent. Very good. My minor at Syracuse. You learn something every day. Haleka <laughs> <laughs> basketball spiel. All right. Otherwise useless, but it occasionally comes up. To the German play. Turnover. Stepped out of bounds on the sideline. Really got going too quickly right there. Clemson by six, and Bears been one of the MVPs here. Unexpected production. Yeah, he's doing a lot of good stuff. Made two threes from each side of the floor, handling the ball, going 94 feet with the defense, running the floor. Lots of good stuff. Double team Sims. Tries to work it anyway through the paint, then lost the Rockets, turned over. That's great, D. That is great, D. The double by Wheeler and Williams. 
Sims kept the ball anyway, and Wheeler left, and he thought he had a clean shot, but Williams did a terrific job. Watch Williams stay with him right here. Stays with him with his hands up. Hands up is a signal to the official that you are not fouling. Sims thought it was tipped out of bounds by Williams. The officials disagree. So Purdue down half a dozen. We'll get it in the hands of Williams again. Here's the back in on Sims. Righty, jump hook, baseline. Off the mark this time and out of bounds. Back to the Tigers. Inside College Football comes your way tomorrow, 7.30 Eastern. Join the crew as they keep you updated on everything happening around the nation and deliver the top headlines of the day right here on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Thanksgiving weekend always means big rivalry games and a lot happening in college football. Extended season, December championship games now with COVID. It's a, a different ball game to be sure. Lots to talk about. Newman the third pulls up the lefty jumper, free throw line rattles out. Williams the rebound for Purdue. Thompson floats, lost the handle, taken back by Honor. Run out, layup. Alamir Dawes runs the floor and converts timeout. Matt Painter and Purdue. The judgment of of the Boilermakers in the last couple of possessions has not been good. I mean, that, that is a drive right into the big people. Uh, no lane to the basket right there. This is not a good play, and it leads to a breakout. Two point guards in the game at the same time for Clemson. That adds to their pressure. And they are Clemson going small right now. I am very impressed with Bayer, number one. He has done an excellent job in this game, and uh, I did not expect him to be a major factor for them this year, but he is certainly going to be that. I thought that uh, Hunter Tyson would be getting all of the minutes, and uh, he is sharing those with Bayer right now. Another point tonight for Jonathan Bayer. He missed a team-high 29 games last year. After having surgery January 31st, the second of two ACL tears. Been tough. He's battled to return for Clemson and playing well here tonight. And he's playing the point on the press right here. He's number one guarding the inbounder, also number one wheeler. So he's got long arms, makes the inbound pass tough. He came back from his first ACL surgery December 8th and had his next one January 31st. Wow. I mean, just wow. From 2019 to 20. Not a lot of time. Awfully tough for Jonathan Bear. Edie has the handle and a foul from behind on Sims. Sims is attempting to keep Edie off of the block. And uh, he used his hands a little bit too much right there. Let's take a look. Watch, it, watch as he puts his arms in his back right here. He pushes off with his forearm, and you, you, that's going to be called every single time. Three fouls on Amir Sims, 14 points on 5 of 10 shooting here tonight. Well, they're going to need him down the stretch right here. This is a tight game. Law play to the seven-footer. He put it on the floor, and that's when you get the steal. Alamir Dawes will finish on the other end. Twice he's put on the floor, Bob. You're right. He's lost it two times. Nope. No doubt about it. And, uh, Clemson's getting a lot more breakaway layups than uh, than Purdue is in this game, and that's been the difference in the game. Backcourt foul, Nick on their coaching set. Alamir Dawes strips him. You bring the ball down, you become 6-4 uh, instead of 7-4. If you're Zach Eady, why even consider doing that? Are you 7-4, keep it up high, right? Yeah, if you can. I mean, you know, yes, that's the answer. But, you know, sometimes it's unavoidable. Uh, you know, you're off balance, so you have to bounce it in case you're going to uh, travel or something like that. Tigers by 10. Boilermakers are needed some offense quickly. Newman, long range shot. Barry's a three. Brandon Newman for Purdue has two triples tonight. You know, Brandon Newman is a skillful guy. Had 10 points in the first game, and he didn't play last year. And uh, 
this is a guy, I mean, he was a, he's a freshman, so th this is a guy who seems to me to be able to do more. And then in this tournament so far, he's, he's alive, but then he fades out of the action for a while. I think it's because of his youth, but I think he's a guy who, for Matt Painter, should be playing a major role. Three threes tonight for Newman, and the 13 points. Not shooting foul. Newman the third for Clemson. Can't connect in the rebound for Edie. Opportunity knocking right here. Ethan Morton for Newman. Another 20 to shoot. This spoiler maker possession. There's Edie. Triple team. Kick out into the corner for Mason Gillis. And that shot is not close. Track down by Hall. Hall's been kind of invisible from the offense here in the in the late going, but now that Sims is out, he might get some touches. Three points tonight for Hall. That's it. Only attempted two shots. Foul call brings us to a timeout in Melbourne, Florida. Clemson by seven over Purdue, hoping for a championship at the inaugural Space Coast Challenge here in Melbourne. Jonathan Bayer sure has been productive in this game in a lot of different ways. Puts the ball on the floor, pull-up jumper. Standstill jumper from one wing, a three. Jumper from another side of the floor, a three. And then running the floor on the fast break. I mean, very, very productive game for him. If Brad Brownell can get Jonathan Bayer at 6'10 to play this kind of game all during the season. That is going to be a big plus for them. 11 points. Four of six, two of three from three. That is good, good production. You mentioned that Big South League title game when he played at UNC Asheville at 16 points, 13 rebounds. Then the NIT against USC, the Pac-12, 28 points, 14 rebounds. So he's done it against some pretty big competition. Yep. And now playing way up from the Big South to the ACC to finish his career. Tigers, the ball, and the seven-point lead here in Melbourne. P.J. Hall thought about a three, but Edie was on a closeout, a 7-4. <laughs> He's covering territory pretty quickly. Four to shoot here. Hall up top over Edie. Hits from the top of the key. Clemson fans have good reason to be excited about that young man. No doubt about it. And, uh, you know, he's... Uh... He's going to be an important cog, and he's going to get better and better as the season rolls on here. Lead back to nine. It's been the largest 13 for Clemson tonight. Edie, seven to shoot. Alex to kick it out. Stefanovic, Newman, pump fake, three, airborne at short. Amir Dawes, defensive glass for Clemson. Here's Bear thinking three ball again. Not this time. Rattles out on him. And he has the rebound. New in the take through traffic. Can't get the finish. There's Edie. A hand on it. A foul call. On the rebound attempt. Looked like Newman the third and Edie came together. Thirteen point six rebounds for eating this one tonight. Our basketball insider John Rothstein said the folks in West Lafayette and Macarena are going to think about making him a cult figure <laughs> right away. Purdue fans are pretty excited about this guy. <laughs> well, the problem is Mackey Arena. You know they average fourteen thousand fans per game there, and uh, they're not going to have that this year because of the COVID situation. So uh, they're going to have to follow it on television and. Uh, in other ways, but he's certainly going to be a popular figure uh, there. And of course, Indianapolis is being looked at for uh, uh, being the host of the entire NCAA tournament. And if that happens, I think it's likely that games will be played at Purdue and games will be played at Indiana and games will be played at Butler as well. Here's Otter up top. Think about three. Fury's a three for Clemson. Nick Otter does it again. Four triples in the game tonight for the Fordham transfer. Now a star. Clemson in the ACC. Ten out for two. The ball is moving. 
the drive, the quick reversal to the top of the key. Very unselfish play by the Tigers in this game. The ball is moving. They have scorers at every position, and uh, that's what you need to be a good offensive team. 17 points for honor, a team high. Hartford UConn is coming up tomorrow, 8 o'clock Eastern time. More hoops coming your way here on CBS Sports Network. The 2020-21 season is underway. Opening day and night yesterday. We have two games for you here in Melbourne, Florida and Titan Fieldhouse. UConn is in the Big East for the first time in a long time. That's Danny awesome. Hurley is it. doing a great job uh, there. And uh, James Polknight is... Uh, an NBA level player that is on that team and uh, it's going to be interesting to see them in the Big East this year. Uh, that is where they belong. Totally agree with that. And we saw them in American Conference game, you and I against USF last year. It was fun to watch. Gamble was packed. Probably not this year with COVID and safety first for fans, players, media. On court officiating crew, of course. But yes, that's a big headline of the new season with UConn back to the Big East. I mean, I'm a Syracuse grad. I mean, that brings back good memories, right? Jim Calhoun and Bayhon <laughs> Heather. Huh? Sure, that's that times. great stuff. Clemson by a dozen here, trying to close the door. Gillis up top, hits a big shot for Purdue. Boy, they need some of that. First points of the game for the retro freshman from Newcastle, Indiana, back on the court after the long, long wait with a knee injury. Some fatigue setting in right now. Guys aren't playing as good defense as they were earlier. And one for Sims. Sims set out for about four or five minutes when he came back in with some energy. But some heavy legs out here right now. Four fouls on Williams now. A little late to adjust and try to get in front of Amir Sims. Chance for a three-point play for Sims. That would, if he hits it, equal honor. 17 points game high for the Tigers tonight. Can't convert short free throw. And the rebound for Williams. More than five to go in regulation. Plenty of time for Purdue, but definitely you can tell the way the game is flowing. The time is now. Trying to make a burst, get back into it. Reverse layup, Williams. Short. Rebound, Alamir Dawes. Smallest guy on the floor. Gets the defensive rebound. That's what you got to do as a guard. Typically, the point guard on the other team does not go to the offensive glass, so the point guard defensively should have had a clean shot at uh, rebounds when you're playing man-to-man -man defense. Clemson ninth place ACC last year. Alamir does up top, way off on a three. Pick 10th, as we talked about, Bob, last night. Preseason poll this year. Do you agree? Well, you know, I, I think preseason polls are great because it gets people talking about basketball. But because there's so many changes of players and because of the portal and transfers and so on, I think you got to watch you got to watch five or six games early this, 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 all around the nation to really make some uh, educated guesses about what you're talking about. Um, so uh, I, I think the ACC is a little bit down, uh, and I think there's some uh, two or three teams at the top, and then I think there's a bunch of teams that uh, are in the middle, and Clemson's one of those. 18 for Sims. Pump fake got him free. Easy conversion. Now for Amir Sims, lead back to 11 for Clemson. Hustle, midcourt line. Comes to Sims by himself for the two-handed hammer dunk for Clemson. Exclamation point moment for the Tigers off the turnover. And they equal their largest lead of the night up by 13. Yeah, I think fatigue has set in with Purdue Boilermakers right here. I mean, they are looking like they've got heavy legs right here. They're not executing the way they normally do. And, of course, they're going to have to hurry here because they're down so much. Thompson has the rebound in the lay -in. Alamir Doss is putting his shoe back on, so couldn't quite uh, defend in that moment. That's an easy shot there for Thompson for Purdue up to nine points in the game. Tell you what, Bear has been playing an awful lot of minutes in the second half. I'm sure he's come out, but I haven't recognized it. He's been in there most all the time. This is a large extended minutes for him. Well, 
Amir Sims is the guy who benefits from the good defense by his teammates right here. A very strong, powerful play to the basket. ACC, all ACC. Clemson pulling away here, up 11, Bob. What's been the reason? Well, I, I, you know, I think they've got good energy. The guards have been very, very tough defensively, causing some turnovers and getting some breakaway stuff. Uh, Sims was out. Brad did a great job of taking him out with nine and bringing him back with five. So we got a rest. So when he came in, he was a high-energy guy at a time when the Purdue players were feeling a little fatigued. So uh, that was a very, very good move, I think. And, uh, you know, they're just their energy level is good and their shooting has been better. And uh, I think Purdue is missing Jaden Ivey. He's a one on one type player, and is very talented, even though he's a freshman and they're missing Hunter. So um, without Hunter, who's their most experienced guy uh, against a good team like Clemson, they, they just didn't have it all together. Clean up necessary before we resume play here in Melbourne. 20 points. You saw that a moment ago for Sims. 25 is a career high, along with 10 rebounds against Duke last year. Here's Honor under 10 to shoot off the timeout. Fired pass down low. Trap gathers, lays it in. What a beat. Nice hands, too, by Trap. That was a low pass. Fifteen assists tonight for Clemson. And again, they've equaled their largest lead. Steal. Sims up for Trap. Up he goes. Down it goes. L for Clemson, and it's a big stuff in a 15-point Tiger lead. Running away with it here in the second half. A lot of Tigers have really stepped up. The man-to-man -man pressure has been effective. It has had a cumulative effect here. Stefanovic misses the three. Newman, he'll drive, hang, and can't hit. As Williams keeps kicking it out and rebounding. Thompson step back, a pump fake, over trap, tries a three, and buries Turnover on the inbound play, and right back to Purdue. Officials making sure that the shot clock is reset, and a timeout. You can see Edie at the scores table about to check back in for Purdue. Well, Thompson made a good play right there. Well, he made the jump shot, and then on the inbounds, Clemson got a little lazy, and he came from behind for the steal. And officials back to the monitor. Let's see here. Looked like it was off the hand of Nick Connor. Good effort from Isaiah Thompson. <laughs> Isn't it funny how, how players point one way to their advantage? Absolutely. It's under two minutes, so they can check this possession yeah. on the monitor, so the officials will look at the replays here. What do you think, Bob? Yeah, I, I think it's the right call. I, th I think Nick Honor's fingers touched it last, and uh, it was a great play by Isaiah Thompson. Thirty-one minutes a game. Thirteen games last year. Nineteen minutes a game for Thompson. A much different role now as a sophomore. As he knocks that one out of bounds, Matt Painter and the Boilers celebrating on their bench. Review continues here. You know, the court officiating crew. That's Nick Connor's left hand pretty clearly and the last to touch it. So, should be Purdue ball down by twelve. That is confirmed. And three point shot in college basketball, anything's possible. With under two to go. This game's never over. <laughs> Clemson fans would like it to be. Well, 151 to go. Anything is possible, and we've seen that over the course of, of time. But it looks like Clemson has the the game in hand if they do what they're supposed to do down the stretch right here. Bear is back in the game. He's out for a moment. Up top, six-point play. How about that? A made three, a turnover, and a made three. So uh, back in it. Suddenly it's nine. 
with a minute 35 and counting second half. Pressure at the midcourt line. Alamir Dawes. Well, Clemson's going to have to make some free throws here down the stretch. I mean, they're going to have, Purdue's going to have to foul here. Uh, not on this particular play, but they're going to have to foul down the stretch here, down this many points. Next foul creates a one and one. Seven to shoot. Here's Sims. Eady at 7 4. Checks him defensively. Cross court place. The five inch helps cause the shot clock violation. And right back to Purdue with a minute 11 to go here in the second half. The bad news is uh, that there's been a turnover by Clemson. The good news is they ran the clock all the way out. So they used 30 seconds and didn't take a shot. So uh, at this time, when you're behind, the clock is your enemy more than the opponent is your enemy. Newman the three, last Purdue possession. Williams, jump hook, spins baseline, can't connect again. Hustle for the rebound, who's got it? Alamir Dodds claims the rock for Clemson, and he's fouled. Tough night for Williams. Yeah, been a tough two days. It's almost like the lid has been on the uh, basket for him. I mean, a lot of good opportunities close to the basket by passes from his teammates, and he just hasn't been able to get the ball down enough. I mean, he's made some very, very good plays. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but uh, there have been a number of plays that were like that last one where the ball just rolls around the rim and pops out. He's fouled out, Coach. Done. With 10 points. Alamir does the one. You're struggling in the first game here at the Space Coast Challenge in Melbourne, Florida. So not one to remember probably for Trevion Williams, but well, the way things have gone, no exhibition games, secret scrimmages, as Matt Painter talked about last night, where you take on some of the local teams, local college squads in your area. And, of course, the early season non-conference games, everything's been compressed and reduced due to COVID. So a lot to learn and to build on from the two games here in Melbourne for Trevion Williams and Purdue? Well, the main thing for most of these teams is their conference season. And, uh, you know, with all the games that have been canceled and all of the non-conference games that are not being played, um, I mean, the conference season is the most important thing. And certainly that's the case in the Big Ten Conference and the ACC for sure. And uh, Trevion Williams and his group are going to get it together. And Eric Hunter will be back soon, and that will help a lot. And, uh Hopefully that the foot injury to uh, Jaden Ivey is not too serious, so he'll be back, and they'll be at full strength, and uh, Matt Painter will do a good job coaching them up, as always. So, big season ahead for them. 45 ticks remaining in our fading second half clock. Newman the drive, eating to rebound, stick back for two for Purdue. And a timeout call with 38.9 seconds. To go in the second half, nine-point game. All right, Bob, time for the play of the game. Brought to us by Aventus Health. Ends up in a big dunk for Clemson. The steal leads to Sims making a dunk, but the steal really is the best play. I know we like dunks, but that steal and he fades out of bounds right behind his coach. That is a great play by Amir Dawes. I think it's been outstanding defensively. Almir Dawes has really made some heads turn, and a lot of scouts will be watching that in terms of the college assistants and their scout when they take on Clemson. Well, you know, the interesting thing is Sims is the anchor for this team, uh, no doubt about it, the personality and the ability and, and all of that. But I think from a, from a, a, point, a, a team point, uh, the pressure defense has been very good. Picking up full court has really been a very, very solid thing for them. And they can use it with Honor and Amir Dawes or one of them in the game at the same time or two of them in the game at the same time. And that's been very good. And then in the post area, they have multiple 6'10 players who can come in and produce. And that's been a big, big thing. And, and the development of Jonathan Bayer here, I think, is a very, very important factor for them going forward. Uh, and, of, of course, P.J. Hall has gotten a lot of uh, publicity, the freshman, but Bayer clearly has been a better player in this game and a big contributor. Three double-figure scores tonight for Clemson. Bayer's got 11, 17 for honor, and 20 points for Amir Sims. Hall quiet in the second game of his Clemson career, mostly due to foul trouble here tonight against Purdue. Sims has not been quiet. 
<laughs> at all. No, we're being limited with foul issues last night. He is quite a talent. Off the timeout. Trap, inbound, play. Here's Sims near midcourt, and he's fouled by Isaiah Thompson. One-on-one -on -one coming up here for Amir Sims. Three fouls on Thompson. With 37.2 to go here in the second half in Melbourne. Amir Sims to the line. Thirteen points a game, seven and a half rebounds for Sims last year. Well, what I've learned uh, at the Space Coast uh, Challenge this year is that Liberty uh, is going to be a great team in the Atlantic Sun, and they won 30 games last year, and I don't think they're going to win 30, but if they make 19 threes like they did tonight, mm -hmm. they could beat anybody. And uh, a number of teams, Clemson and Purdue among them, have lots of new players that, and Mississippi State the same way, that they have to ingrain into their system and learn their defensive system and their offensive sets. So they're going to be uh, taking time to develop to their capacity. 22 for Sims tonight. Thompson driving the basket. Good play by Honor in the final moments. Tigers up 11, trying to put this one away and start the year 2-0 after winning 16 games last season. And I think the, the other thing personnel-wise about uh, this tournament is the emergence of Zach Eady, the 7-foot-4-inch uh, center for Purdue. I don't think anybody realized, I certainly didn't, that he was this good and was going to be this big of a factor in college basketball right away. On cue the touch, Eady <laughs> and the easy hammer for the 7 4 center. Once it's in his hands and deep like that, it's lights out for Zach Eady. Steele Newman can't hit from point blank range. A second crack at it and a layup. For Brandon Newman and a timeout called. And now a seven point game with 14.2 to go in the second half. Well, last year when Clemson won its uh, game at North Carolina, they were down deep until at the end of the game. And here we see the one handed catch by Edie. That's a big time catch. Not only does he have size, but he's got great hands also. Effectiveness on the offensive glass right here. Purdue not giving up in this game. 17 points in the game for 80 tonight. After the great debut we talked about last night in his first career game. Six of eight from the field and eight rebounds. And Matt Painter said he really wasn't surprised by how well Edie played in night one of his Boilermaker career based on what he saw in practice. Big time potential for this young man, Bob. He is a fun guy to watch, there's no doubt about that. And, uh, you know, I think he's going to develop at both ends but he is a talent and uh, his size obviously is the main thing but he's got good footwork he's got good hands he's got good power he weighs 285 pounds he is very very difficult to guard and uh, you know his passing has to come along uh, and uh, I like his enthusiasm on the floor and his confidence uh, out there and it, it, it's been a delight to watch him play I mean two games in a row he's played extremely well 19 points, five rebounds last night. Good stat we hear from the Purdue folks. Only four games nationally last year where a player had 19 points, five boards with 15 minutes or less playing time. And he was exactly at 15 minutes last night. So pretty efficient, pretty spectacular. Purdue fans got to be excited about the upside of this young man. I like to see some video. I've got to go on YouTube and find him playing hockey. I don't know. <laughs> I assume, you know, growing up, I don't know when he hit 7 4, but I mean, pretty good athlete, clearly. Baseball, too, be quite a pitcher. I'm guessing defense, but I'm a hockey ass, right? I mean, you have to be that tough. So, Nano Chara, those, those big dudes. He's a long way from the puck. <laughs> That's right. I'll tell you that. That's right. Well, he's 7'4 now, but put skates on him. What is that, another four inches? Right? Four five inches? <laughs> Seven, eight in skates? I mean, it's just insane. All right, 12.3 seconds to go here in Melbourne in a seven-point game. Free throws, Alamir Dawes of Clemson. Trying to put this one away for the Tigers. Hits the first. Why 
Nine points, three for three from the line for Dawes tonight. Hits a pair. Clemson by nine in the final moments from the Space Coast Challenge. First ever event held here in Melbourne, Florida. Possibly the first of many. Thompson short on the long shot. With 5.3 to go. Standing between Clemson and a 2 0 start to the season. Here's Sims. There's a foul. So a chance for Sims to pad his stats. And I love the hustle ball. Look at that. Going up court, too. Well, that was a nonsensical foul. I mean, yeah. I mean you know, Tough to understand really, that one. the game is over with three seconds to go. It doesn't make sense. But uh, sprinting down the floor to get to the free throw line. Talking to his buddies. One more free throw. Made the first. We'll talk to Amir Sims post-game interview. The big star of the Tigers tonight. Hits a couple free throws. Lead at 11. And that should do it from here in Melbourne, Florida. Two games, four nights, wrapping up on Thanksgiving night and a celebration for the Clemson Tigers because Bob Wesley started the season 2-0 and and a lot to be happy about for Clemson fans this year. Well, it's a, it's a lot to be happy about because you win it, obviously, but it, it, the players are happy just because they're getting to play under the circumstances that we're living in these days. And look at the big smiles right here on the sideline for them. Winning a tournament in season is very, very important to players, and uh, Sims is happy as he can be. We'll hear from Amir Sims in a moment. 24 points tonight leads the way for Clemson, an 11-point victory over Purdue of the Big Ten. Happy Thanksgiving one and all. More coming up from Melbourne. Happy Thanksgiving, one and all, and happy Thanksgiving, especially to the Clemson Tigers. They take care of Purdue, 81-70, the final to start the season 2-0 to win the Space Coast Challenge here at Titan Fieldhouse in Melbourne, Florida. And a big reason, Amir Sims, who was fantastic after being limited in game one with foul trouble, 8 of 13 from the field, 24 points, and 4 assists, 6 of 7 from the line in 27 minutes of action. And the exclamation point dunk, one of several big plays. Joining us now from Titan Fieldhouse in Melbourne. Amir, thanks for your time. Congrats on the win. And we enjoyed watching you so much because not only the great play, but your leadership, too. Is that a big part of your game? Guys, to, you know, set the tone and, you know, lead the foundation for where our team is supposed to be. And, you know, them guys told me from an early age to be vocal, you know, don't be afraid to step up in a big moment and, you know, just challenge the team to get better and keep giving more, you know. And that's, just what, that's what I wanted to do when I came out here and we got the job done. What made the difference tonight, Amir, in your victory over Purdue? <laughs> Most definitely when you don't get uh, five fouls in the game, you know, play eight minutes, that's definitely uh, that's a liability to the team. You know, being here, you know, I just want to come into this game with a game plan and not to get, pick up too many fouls, play smart, you know, give my team all I can, you know, give them all I got. You know, I had fresh legs because I didn't play last night, so... It was good to be back out there with the guys. So 2-0, oh, it's a great start. It's on Thanksgiving, of course, with so many challenges with COVID and getting tested every day, and you're playing basketball. What has that meant to you and the Tigers to get back on the court? Oh, it means a lot. You know, it's been an eight-month eight hiatus, and uh, we were all looking to get out here, all eager to come out here and play our hearts out and do it for the Tiger family and Tiger Nation. And, you know, a lot of us away from our family, so, you know, if we couldn't be with them, at least we could give them was all our heart out here on the court and just go hard. So it wasn't just you, Amir. Also, Nick Connor had 17 points. Jonathan Bear played so well, had 10, and Dawes had 10 as well. So a lot of double-figure scores. So Clemson fans are watching. They want to know what they can think about the future, right? Because now you're 2-0, and compressed non-conference schedule, no exhibition games, and the preseason has been reduced. ACC is coming up pretty soon. What do you think about this Clemson team? How quickly can you gel, and what do you think you can do this year? Um, I think, you know, we've had the, the leverage of other teams of, you know, not really testing positive for COVID. So we kind of got the, the step ahead with a lot of that. But, you know, we just want to play together, you know, keep our game plan simple. We don't get too ahead of ourselves and just play our basketball, you know, not let teams dictate how we play, but dictate how we play ourselves. So going into ACC play, you know, we got a little non-conference game coming up. But going into ACC play, we just want to keep our heads clear and just play our game of basketball the way we want to do it. 
Hey, Amir, thanks so much for the time. Congrats on the win. We love the hat, by the way. Looking good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, in Melbourne, championship of the inaugural Space Coast Challenge. Amir Sims, all ACC pick for the Tigers. A win tonight, 24 points and four assists. 11-point win for Clemson. They begin the year at 2-0. Purdue drops to 1-1 one one out of the Big Ten Conference. That'll wrap it up for our CBS Sports Network broadcast from the Titan Fieldhouse. In Melbourne, Florida, for Bob Wenzel, the entire crew, it's Dave Ryan saying so long. UEFA champions. League is coming up the group stage. Some great soccer is on the way. In the end, Clemson starts the year 2-0. Amir Sims was spectacular in his second game of the season. So long, everyone, from Florida Space Coast.